if you can't put your values into your vote, then democracy is lost at sea. We have no moral compass, and that's exactly where we are right now. People are hungering for more choices, but the American political system excels at suppressing the voices of opposition. In fact, we are probably the only uh, major developed country that is limited to two parties. People are told over and over, don't vote your values, vote your fears. But what we got was everything we were afraid of, all the reasons you were told that you had to vote for the lesser evil because you didn't want the massive expanding wars. You didn't want the meltdown of the climate. You didn't want the massive Wall Street bailouts. You didn't want the offshoring of our jobs. These are all things that were brought to us, signed, sealed, and delivered by a Democratic White House with two Democratic Houses of Congress. We have a few things to learn about democracy in our own country that we need to allow opposition voices and opposition Opposition political parties. That's how we get to real democracy. In a true multi-party democracy, we'd have much easier access and we would have inclusive debates. So you have many more points of view, much more diversity, and it's much harder for corporations to take control, to buy out the two parties, and basically censor and eliminate all other non-corporate points of view, like living wages, like the right to a job, like the right to free higher education. Those are critical issues, and we need an open democracy to be able to bring them into our political system. And forget the lesser evil, stand up and fight for the greater good, like our lives depend on it, because they do.